Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I would like to share this video with you that um, this man, Daniel Alexander Cannon, who has the channel Logic Before Authority. I've shared one of his before. Um, this is, this was put out March the 6th. Uh, let's see, today is March the 6th and it's 4.57 p.m. Well, he's talking, the title of this is, Here is Who, all caps, W-H-O, Will Live or Die Via COVID-19. Okay, um, I want to play for you just um, about a minute or so of why this man knows what he's talking about, what caused him to be researching uh, vaccines, which we've talked about vaccines, and I told you how they wanted me to take four or five of them, you know, it was on a piece of paper, they didn't, they asked me, did I want the flu shot, and I said, no, I never want the flu shot, well, the piece of paper they handed me to take home had five shots listed on it, or four maybe, I don't remember, and some other things I can't remember now. I threw the thing away. But anyway, he's talking about uh, what caused him to research. Uh, and he said he... Uh, anyway, we know that the vaccines are bad. And sometimes they cause the flu, not just not prevent them. At least that's what people I've seen on videos, right? And have heard doctors have said this year's vaccine doesn't seem to be stopping it, but it makes it less severe. So they urge people to get it anyway. All right, well, listen, listen to uh, Daniel for just a minute. You cannot do this, guys. Do not go buy a 5G phone. Let me say it again. Do not go buy a 5G phone. Please. They're using them in 5G devices. They're using them in the emergency rooms. They're using them for surgery. Oh, I... The computers and the monitors and the all in okay. full so using 5G to perform surgeries remotely. It sounds great. Don't realize and don't know. They think they're doing great things, but they're being fooled. And the cost of it is not just possibly their life. But the future of their generations, their bloodline, will be extinguished. And if you don't believe this... He's talking about the Chinese people, how they all got the vaccine, the mandated vaccine, had to be gotten by December of 2019. And when did this break out over there? And they got all, all those neighborhoods... Of most of their population has 5G cell towers. Okay, let me continue. You don't understand this. Please do some more research if you think that the things I'm talking about are crazy. Because I've spent a decade, and I'm no dummy, and I've spent a decade trying to figure out what happened to my son. What happened to my son? My son, Manoa. He was perfect when he was two years old and then we got his, we got his shots. And I held him down. I can remember it like it was just now. We got his shots. And then in a few weeks, he was just gone. And I've spent the last 10 years trying to figure out what went wrong. And I had 
have figured it out. And they weren't just satisfied with giving people autism and destroying people's lives. They destroyed mine. They destroyed my ex-wife's. And they destroyed my son's. So I've spent 10 years, a decade, trying to figure this out. And I can tell you that what I'm telling you is the word of God. These people are poisoning us with these things. And they're destroying us with these things. And luckily most of the people within my voice have not gotten these things, shots and things like this, any time recently. Thank God that I've been talking to y'all guys for a long time and telling you not to get them. Hey, okay, I'll stop it there. Like I said, I know that most of you are already aware of what vaccines are doing to our children. How it's like one out of ten are getting autism. I mean, it's a real high number. And I know that the hepatitis B series vaccines is what made me sick. A lot of people have reactions to those because you get three of them. Uh, you get two a month apart, and then you get your third one six months later. And that's when I, I got real sick. And in the beginning, I couldn't walk. It was just everything started at once. Thank God I had a doctor that put me in the hospital for 10 days trying to figure it out. That gave me enough rest where I could go home and recover well enough to, uh, well, within a couple weeks or so, I went back to work until I had a problem there. Anyway, my story's a long story, and I don't need to tell it, but it's been 29-plus years, going on 30, and the CDC and the NIH keep blocking the research. They won't give the funds that are allocated for it. They end up giving them to someone else, and I know full good and well that it's man-made. The bottom line of it is man-made. Anyway, I didn't mean to get off on that, but that's why myalgic encephalomyelitis still does not even have an ICD code, which is what you have to have to bill insurance. My doctor couldn't get me the kind of wheelchair I needed because my major malfunction is myalgic encephalomyelitis, which doesn't have an ICD code. But if I had MS, I'd have a chair with shocks and outside wheels. Anyway, it's not, it's a government thing, I know it is. And it's one of those illnesses they created. Or they, it's, it, it's that and Alzheimer's. There used to be very few cases of Alzheimer's. Now look. I bet you all know somebody that has it or knows somebody that knows somebody and that talks about their aunt or grandma, their father or somebody that has Alzheimer's. It's so common now, it's ridiculous. And they don't want them to live. They don't want, they want most of the elderly, it sounds like in the plans, not to, to live but this is not he's not talking about the elderly problem he's ju just going into um, how come the Chinese come like they did so if you care to listen I'll put the link in the description box and um, he also said that people who have not had vaccines in over 10 years are probably going to be okay anyway. But, um, and he's a godly man, and he, and he uh, talks about how his son's 
getting autism, ruining his life, did foolish things for a couple of years, but then some older gentleman led him to the Lord and he became a warrior to find out what happened to his son. And that's how come he knows so much about this subject. Anyway, uh, Logic Before Authority called Here Is Who Will Live or Die Via COVID-19 If You Can't See the Description Box. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you, your devices, your families. Let us all say or recite Psalm 91, that is our preventative. Now, um, it's going around, and I might have even mentioned this already, or somebody did in the comments, maybe. Uh, L4J Rapture put up a video with the interview of the old woman who survived the Spanish flu, and she talked about how her mother gave them a half a teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water every morning before breakfast. You don't have to go hours without eating. Just take it on an empty stomach. Maybe wait 15 minutes. It's to make your system alkaline. I'll link that video too if you'd like to watch the old... Um, she's 100 years old. I think I can safely call her old. <laughs> Uh, there's not a whole lot of people get that old, so she's probably still doing it. Being alkaline instead of acidic is is uh, a real health benefit. Anyway, um, I'll end this here, and like I said, I will link that too. And if you can't see the link, it's L4J Rapture, and I don't remember what the video is called. So if you can't find it, just let me know and. I'll put it in the comment to you. All right. Okay. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.